the frustration of people showing and not showing and who can and who can't, um, the rules that are complicated and just, you know, uh, I don't even know where I'm supposed to show, um, was very evident to all of us. Um, and I just suggested that, you know, why don't we try and find some kind of a level playing field that we can, as divisions, show. Um, and Denise spoke up and said, or I've done some research, um, I've got some numbers, let's get together. And basically that's how it has evolved. Hopefully what this leveling system will allow is I can enter in my, say I'm an intermediate rider, I can enter a horse that not necessarily has to mark what the non-pro top level has to mark, but I can bring it as a B student and maybe me a B rider, I can mark on my level, but yet I might take a shot and enter up and I, I might be able to, you know, be able to be compensated for both sides of that. It gives me choices which I don't presently have. People just did not feel like they had a level playing field and when they felt that way they just wouldn't compete and so the entries were going down. So we just looked at the database and started coming up with um, looking at where how big the spread was in lifetime earnings in the various divisions and tried to figure out well if we made certain levels within those divisions would the player or the member then decide to enter like they used to um, so we we looked at that and uh, shared that with the competition committee the full competition committee and came up with the current three structure, three levels within each division. Um, and it gives, it, it gives a beginner rider in each division an opportunity to compete against their peers. It gives that intermediate rider an opportunity to compete against their peers. And if either one of those two levels feel like they could be competitive in a higher level, they can enter. And so it, it gives them the option. It doesn't force anybody into enter. Um, it just gives opportunity. Um, and with our current numbers, we need to grow membership and we need to grow show entries. And so this is an idea that hopefully will be successful at the Cotton States. I'm sure there's things that we're gonna need to tweak, but at least it'll give us an opportunity to try an idea. So basically the proposal doesn't actually change this class structure. It creates levels within the structures. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And, and what's the spread of each of those levels? Well, within the well, there's like I said, there's three levels within each division. And in the amateur, you have uh, well, in each division, you have a limited, an intermediate, and then the top level for that division. In the amateur, the limited is zero to twenty-five thousand in lifetime earnings. The intermediate is twenty-five to um, nine, ninety-nine thousand. 999 and then the top level in the amateur is anything over a hundred in your non-pro it's zero to a hundred thousand for your limited it's a, a hundred thousand one dollar to forty four thousand nine hundred ninety nine um, let's see four hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine up to the intermediate and then anything over half a million is the top level in the non-pro in the open, it's structured where it's zero to 200 in the limited open, uh, 200,001 to 749,999 is the intermediate, and then anything over 750, uh, 750,000 is the top level in the open. We, you know, we looked at previous shows. We took the top 10 regional shows that had already occurred last year, um, including the Triple Crown events, and we stratified those entries to see what the payouts would look like and what the size of the classes would be to make sure that the the dollar amount breaks that we proposed worked. And so there was some trial and error. Um, like I mentioned to you, there's a subcommittee um, under the cl under the competition committee, and we went through a ton of shows to to just challenge whether the payouts worked and whether the class size worked, and it did under this um, under the what we proposed for the Cotton States. Hopefully, that will be the incentive to grow and maybe 
like you say, those those students that aren't playing this game and those horses that are being left at the barn instead of coming to town to play, hopefully they will show up. And if they do, these levels could go from three levels in a division to possibly five. So if we get more people coming to play, the purse is going to be bigger right. because we have more riders. So, it, and it was it was very. I feel like it was very positively received at the convention. And I have to tell you, it was the first year where I came away with people were excited. They were they're ready for some change. They're ready. They they recognize that there are some things that need to be changed and the willingness to try to, things that are not the old way um, was it, it was cool to see that that actually people are excited about wanting to try something new.